Hey everybody, it's Marquita, and I was coming here to um, do the 43 things you didn't know about me. Um, it'll probably be split up because I'm looking on Facebook at the same time that I am also doing a video, and I'm in a video from my phone, so I'm sorry this can be split up. But I can give you the first seven. Um, Forty-three are things you don't um, you don't know about me. Um, one, do you like blue cheese? Yes, I like blue cheese. I like blue cheese dressing, and I also like the actual blue cheese crumbles, like for salads. Um, have you ever smoked? I have tried it a couple of times, but not, not for like no period of time. It's like, I tried it and it's like, you know, I didn't get addicted because I, like, I wasn't doing it because I was craving it. I did it, you know, not really even, not even peer pressure. It was me. I was just like, oh, well, let me see if I want to smoke. I took a puff and I'm just like. Mm, it's not for me, mm. uh, but not judging um, y'all that do smoke. Um, so I mean, um, I it never, I never got addicted to smoking. Like I took a puff and I just like, uh, I don't want you know I don't want to smoke this whole cigarette, or I don't want to you know smoke, um, <clears throat> like. It's not for me. It wasn't a habit I was going to pick up. Because I didn't have no interest in it. Interest in it. Um, do you own a gun? I do not own a gun. Um, um, what's your favorite flavor? Hazelnut. I love hazelnut. Um, cappuccino is my favorite cappuccino. It's hazelnut. Um, like if I had to get coffee creamer I would probably lean more towards hazelnut than french vanilla but like I bought unflavored so um but like if I got a flavor it would probably be um hazelnut like if I could um do you get nervous before doctor visits no I don't um what do you think of hot dogs I love hot dogs for the last three days I've had hot dogs and chili and I mean tell the truth it's almost dinner time and I probably will have hot dogs and chili um I love hot dogs um sometimes I put like if I'm getting hot dogs from a place then I get the hot dogs chili mustard and relish that, that's how we get my hot dog. Every once in a while, if I'm, um, I'm not even going to say craving because I don't really crave onions, but sometimes I'm just like, uh, you know, I'm feeling adventurous. Put a little bit of onions on it, even though I'm not really, I just recently got into onions, like the last two or three years. Like I used to be like, don't even bring like, don't even bring it in my house because, no, onions is not welcome. But then, I start using minced onions and my the dry minced onions in my uh, recipes. And, I mean, they're okay. Like, I won't pick them as a topping. Like, what I mean by that, and I know I just said it, like, if I'm feeling adventurous, it's like... If I go to Sonic and get a hot dog, and it's like a chili dog with onions and uh, chili and mustard, then I'm not going to tend to remove the onions every single time. I might just, like, have it how it comes. That's what I mean by adventurous. Um, what's, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Enemy Mine. Um... It stars Dennis Quaid, I think, and Lou uh, Lou Ross. I think that's who that is. 
please don't quote me because um I think it's Lou Ross. Um not not the dude that sings not the dude that sings, it's the um you know what? I really don't think that that's that man's name. And I, I think it is Dennis Quaid. Um but I don't think that's the dude, the black dude's name. Anyways, if y'all never seen the movie, it came out in 1985. I was born in 83, so I've been liking the movie since 1985. That is also tied with Howard the Duck. I didn't put Howard the Duck because, like, if I sit down, like, if somebody sit me down to watch my favorite movie and they're like, pick any movie. My first movie that I would pick would be Enemy Mind. Enemy Mind, sorry. And, um, and then the second movie would be, um, a tie between A Christmas Story and Ten Commandments, which I am one of them, I am one of them people that from Christmas Eve till the end of Christmas Day, I sit there and I turn it on. Well, you know, they didn't do this last year and that made me mad. But I usually sit down and everybody knows on Christmas Eve that my TV stays on TBS. I don't have cable anymore, so this year it might be different. I do have the game, I mean the movie on disc so I can still do it. But everybody knows not to touch my TV because I watch A Christmas Story. It comes on goes off comes right back on goes off comes right back on and i watch it almost every like i can watch it like six times in a row before everybody's like can you please share the tv that's why i have two tvs you know so that like one of my tvs is constantly christmas story and i'm sitting right there front and center watching a christmas story love it love it love it love it and uh but I could also do that with Ten Commandments. Sit down, watch it, beginning to end. If it goes off and comes back on, I can do it all over again. Love, love, love Ten Commandments. Um, and I love, love, love A Christmas Story. And so, I said on my questionnaire that it's In Me Mind and A Christmas Story is uh, my two favorite Christmas movies. Um, but like I said, Ten Commandments, I like Howard the Duck. Um, but I also like, um, A Nightmare Before, uh, yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I got, I can watch that one over and over and over. And then, um, what's another one that I can watch over and over? <sighs> I can't think of one. La, 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 la. Um, I'll have to come back because I can't think of another one like off the top of my head that I can watch over and over and over. But stay. Um, I'll be right back. I gotta move the list up and it's gonna cut the camera off, so. Okay, we're back. Um, I guess we're eight more, eight more things. Um, number eight. What's, what do you prefer to drink in the morning? I love coffee. Like, I recently, since the girls been, um, like, since the weather's been getting a little bit cooler and then, um, where I, oh, sorry, where I don't sleep that well, um, I drink coffee every morning, and I notice that the coffee makes me not hungry, so, like, during the week, I don't get hungry, because I drink coffee, like, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, sometimes I drink it Thursday, and then on the weekend, um, like, Friday night to basically Tuesday morning. If I don't have anything to do, 
I don't put on my glasses. I, I don't wear my glasses um, all weekend from like Friday night to till Tuesday morning. Um, but I also don't drink coffee either. Um, Saturday morning, Sunday morning, Monday morning, I don't drink coffee. But I also, I eat more because I'm not drinking coffee on them days. Um, so, but, um, the three things that I wrote is, um, I drink coffee. And I love ice water. Now, let me explain. When I say ice water, I don't mean water with ice in it. I mean, I do, but I put uh, an old jug of, um, like an old Hawaiian punch jug, the big one. I fill one of them up with water. So that's in my refrigerator at all times. So it's like ice cold by itself. And then I put ice in a cup and I pour the ice ice icy cold water over the over the ice cubes and like the colder it is the better so I put cold water so the colder the better which is weird because right now I'm freezing cold and like I'm like physically in pain because I'm cold um but if I got thirsty I will go do that. I will go get me a glass with ice in it and I will pour ice water because I love, I love ice water. I do. I love like the super coldness of ice water. Even though I'm cold, if I wanted something to drink, that's what I would do right now. Um, and then my third choice, I mean, my third thing was, oh, no, no, that was just two things. Sorry that, um, the drink comes up in another a question okay sorry so the two drinks that I drink in the morning if I if I do drink I usually drink um a glass of ice water even in that and I do that so that I can wake up my digestive system which I know you're probably thinking okay you're fat you don't need to wake it up well, the problem is if I eat something early in the morning, I get sick because my digestive system is not awake. So if I eat something, then I it's like it sits in my stomach and like my body doesn't start to break it down. So like all that day, I'm like really nauseous and I'm and I feel overly full because in my head my body's not breaking the food down and then like while i'm feeling overly stuffed and while i'm feeling sick i'm not going to want to drink anything so i'm not going to say okay well let me drink some water you know so that my body can get woke up and so it can start to eat I me mean, start to break down the food no like if i don't drink anything which i don't of course i don't drink juice because it will go right through me had gastro bypass have dumping syndrome if you don't know what it is, look it up. It's not fun. So I don't drink juice. And then coffee, um, I have to take anti-diarrhea. Like I take anti-diarrhea every day because I never know what's going to make me dump. Like it's, it's not one set thing. It could be like I could eat a hot dog and it can do it. And then I can like eat a hot dog like another another time and it's like nope didn't do it you know i never know when it's gonna do it so it's nothing one thing specific that causes the dumping syndrome um sorry it's a little tmi but with that i take anti-diarrheas so that any um nutrition that i'm getting like it slows down my digestive system enough because like like I said I like water so I, I drink water anyhow so that I can eat um so um once it's woke up it of course breaks down the food and it digests as fast well because gastro bypass 
you are already like your body can't get all the nutrients out of the food before it's processing it and like pushing it through um and then on top of that i have sickle cell trait which also does the exact same thing it doesn't allow my body to absorb nutrients and things out of food and so like i have a double thing so i try to slow down my digestive system from digesting my food too fast before i get any nutrients but then it's like a catch-22 i have to drink something to get it working but once it gets working it's like okay like a locomotive motor motor a train it it like works really fast um sorry um do you do push-ups i do not I do not. I don't have no desire to do a push up. I do not do a push up. Um, what's your favorite piece of jewelry? Um, I'm not a jewelry person really. Uh, but the two things that I can think of is my first Mother's Day um bracelet I ordered. Well, I ordered it, Gary paid for it. Um when the girls were born so it was my very first mother's day with them and it was a bracelet and it has my name on it like my name's in the heart and then it has my my birthstone then it has you know hannah's name and then hannah's birthstone savannah's name and savannah's birthstone i think gary's on there with his birthstone i don't remember um but that's my favorite and then my second favorite thing is I ordered um, a bracelet for myself. It's a, um, it's a, a, a birthstone, like it's a faux tennis bracelet. It's like, it's not real. It's not a real tennis bracelet, but it looks like a tennis bracelet. But instead of it's white, you know, diamonds, it's uh, my, my birthstone, which is November. Um, I'm Sagittarius, if y'all didn't know. Bonus fact. Um, so, but yeah, so that's my my favorite. Um, okay, then. What's your favorite hobby? I love crocheting. And I want to try to get into sewing. And the reason why I want to try to get into sewing is so that I can make savannah a bumpy now if y'all don't know about bumpy bumpy is a pillow and i got that pillow like oh three so like over 10 years ago and i think yeah it was either it was i think it was oh three because i was with orville and that's when we lived in Austin Homes. And, um, but yeah, so I bought that pillow. Well, I've been having this since 03 because it was mine. And when she was probably about three months, she was, um, really active. <laughs> like, she's always been very active, but at probably about three months is where she wanted to try to, and she, uh, she slept with me in a co-sleeper, like in a actual, um, like bassinet type thing, but it was inside, it was on my bed. So my fear was, okay, she's going to roll out of this bed and try to crawl. Like, um, I don't think she was crawling at that time. She, she did a lot of things very advanced for her age, but I don't think she was crawling, but she was, she liked it to move. So what I did is I put like a pillow like over her legs, like at the bottom of her legs. And the pillow's not heavy. And I put the pillow like kind of like across her legs. So if I felt the pillow move, I knew that she was moving. Because I didn't want to put my arm on her because like I'm fat. And I didn't want to put, you know, my, my big arm on, you know, on her. Because she, like they were so tiny when they were when, you know, at that age, I think, 
at that age, they were probably still like six pounds, you know, because when they were born, they were four pounds. And, uh, like they, they grew very slowly and still are growing very slowly. So I think they were like six pounds, like maybe even five and a half still then, um, at, at three months. And, um, so yeah, but ever since that day, she has fell in love with that pillow. I wish if I knew she was going to fall in love with that pillow, I would have put something else on her. Something that's smaller and something that she can carry around. But that's my that's my goal is to possibly get, find out how to make a weighted blanket. But not, not a big blanket. Like a small little blanket that has different textures on it. And hopefully I can get rid of Bumpy because Bumpy is see-through and he's not supposed to be see-through. And we got him patch sewed, held together with an angel eyelash. You know, it's he's not gonna last too much longer. But if we if I get rid of Bumpy without having a substitute, I really think that she will have Wolverine claws out and like rip me to shreds because I tell you Bumpy is serious um but so I like crocheting but I hopefully I can get into sewing um this year um do you have ADD nope I don't I do not what what's the one thing you dislike about yourself I don't like my boobs I do not and I just I I wish I didn't have them because I mean my favorite thing used to be my teeth but since I don't have insurance and I can't afford to go to the dentist that's no longer my favorite thing I don't think I have a favorite thing but I used to love my teeth I really did um but I don't anymore um, but yeah, so that's the one thing I do hate about myself is my boobs. Physically hate about myself is my boobs. Um, I got better emotionally how I feel about myself, you know, emotionally because, you know, working on myself every day. Um, uh, what's, what's your middle name? My middle name is Ines. Yep, 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 Ines, I-N-E-Z. Um, I am actually named after my mama's cousin, Alfreda, um, which I was almost, my name was almost Alfreda, um, because my mom didn't have a name for me, and, um, Alfreda was there, or Frida, love her, miss her to death, um, but uh, she was there when my mama was in labor. My daddy was not. And my mama still didn't have a name for me. And so she, um, so Frida was like, okay, well, we're going to just name her Alfreda Inez Rogers. And, um, was that Frida? I don't think she was married. I don't know if she was married at the time. So I was going to like literally be a junior. <laughs> Because I know if she wasn't married, her last name was still Rogers. Um, but then my mama was watching um, a close-up commercial, and um, it was a little girl. My mama said it was a little girl on the commercial named Marquita. So she's like, "I like that name. It's different. It's unique." So then my name became Marquita and then Frida's like well she has to be named after me some way so it was Inez because Frida's middle name was Inez which fun fact um Hannah when my sister um when we found out one <laughs> that she was having a girl and two that they were twins three days before they were born 
Um, I was like, you gotta name her Rachel Inez. Rachel after our great grandmother. Hold on. Okay, sorry, Gary called in. Um, but when we found out that that they were twins, I was like, you gotta name her Rachel Inez. You know, Rachel from our great grandmother, my mama's granny. Uh, and the one that raised my mama name was Rachel and then Inez for me. And she's like, no, that ain't what I want to name her. I want to name them something that, you know, that matches. So I was like, well, how about you name one of their middle names Inez? And she's like, uh, I was like, I will give you $20 if you will name one of them after me. And so she did. She named Hannah, Hannah Inez. And then she named um, Savannah, Savannah May, after um, our great aunt, my mama's aunt, um, Frida, the one that I'm named after. Frida's mother, uh name was Carrie, Carrie May. And uh, so that's where Savannah got May from, is from Aunt Carrie May, um, which is Frida's mama. <laughs> But, yeah, so, um, that's how the names became. Um, name three thoughts at this moment. Hannah, Savannah, and food. That's what I always think about, like, every day, all day. Hannah, Savannah, and food. Um, three drinks you, you regularly drink. Um, juice, water, and coffee. And... Current worry, sleep. I'm always, excuse me, I'm always worried about sleep because I have insomnia out of this world. Um, I hate it, but I do. I hate, hate. I get, like I could be tired all day and as soon as 8 o'clock happens, like I get wide awake and like I can't go to sleep till like 4. So, I... Uh, usually take ambium the problem is my doctor writes me 30 pills 10 carrots like you only need 14 even though there's 30 days in a month they're like oh, i'll just take it every other day okay so i'm supposed to like only sleep every other day i take sleep aids over the counter i go to sleep but not early you know, so fight went to care there. Um, current annoyance right now. Money. Always money. Um, and I'm cold, so I'm mad. Uh, favorite place to be? A cruise ship. I was gonna put, um, the Bahamas, but then I was like, no, because cause I went on a uh, Caribbean cruise, and we went to, um, <coughs> we went to Grand Turks and Caicos, we went to St. Thomas, um, St. Croix, I think that's St. Croix. I think that's what that was in Puerto Rico. Um, in Half Moon um, Bay. Um, I think it was four or five. I don't remember. I know Grand Turks and Caicos because that was like on my actual birthday um, in 2011. I was in Grand, Grand Turks and Caicos and the cruise was for my birthday. And then, so I did seven um seven days on a cruise and then seven days disney uh disney world which it was very reasonably priced for that i think it was 1100 which i know like 1100 is a lot of money when you don't have that but for that 1100 it paid for the cruise and it paid for like the seven days cruise then it paid for the seven days um in disney 
like on uh, like I stayed at the music resort the Mickey uh, in like like in one of the Mickey Mouse hotels um they told me that we could have upgraded like our our room um to actually get to um stay in one of the um the rooms at um Animal Kingdom that was just a little too real for me I'm like you know what I'm not an animal person I don't need to look out my balcony window and see animals I am cool at magic you know at music um I think it was the music the music of the uh, Disney World um hotels so that was and then it paid for like the all the food um at on the cruise of course all you can eat and then at Disney World it paid for all the food um at the resort and for 1100 that was a great deal um how do you, how do you ring in the new years I ring the New Year's in with the girls. I always have them with me, and I sit them right in front of the window. I mean, right in front of the other TV. We count down to one. I give them a big old kiss, and then we go to bed. <laughs> so that's how I ring in the New Year's. Um, where do you like? Where would you like to go? I would like to go to the equator. I would. I would like to go to the equator just to say, you know what? I have been to the equator. I have actually touched the equator. Like, I am literally on the equator. I think that that would be so cool. And another place I would like to go, um, I would actually like to go to Panama Canal because I've seen it. I seen the documentary of it being built and I thought, you know what? I would like to go to the Panama Canal Canal just to say that I've been. I've been. Um I guess I would I would like to go to places um historic historically, I guess that's right. Places, you know, just so I could say, you know what, I have experienced that firsthand. Um, but if I'm picking somewhere based on my fatness, food, I say, um, <clears throat> I pick Pakistan. Let me explain. Um, Thanksgiving 2005, not 2005, Thanksgiving 1995. Um, my mama had a friend named Lisa. She was married to this man named Marwan. He's from Pakistan. And they had a son named Cody together. And, um, he cooked Thanksgiving that year. I mean, she cooked her Thanksgiving. She was from Georgia. And she cooked Thanksgiving just in case we didn't want to eat his Thanksgiving. And then I got to partake in his thanksgiving and i had fun and the food was yes sir yes ma'am i was like i could go to pakistan i could survive me saying it i was 10 so yes i could survive yes i could live in pakistan the right now me the 33 year old me is like uh, i don't think i could I don't take well to being told some things. Like if I have, and, and this is what I see on TV. Um, I don't think that I could, I don't, I don't want to be forced to not be an individual. Because I am an individual, I'm not a follower, but I'm also not a leader. I am, I am me. 
on me and I don't want to go somewhere where I have to be a follower or I have to be a leader because that's just not my personality so that's why I don't think that I can go like today but give me some of them good old food that I had and I will be all so happy uh, bah, 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 bah. name three people who will complete this complete this Mm, probably nobody and I'll be back gotta move it up okay we're back um do you own slippers yes what color shirt are you wearing right now it's pink and gray um and it's long sleeve it's um kind of like a um uh long john I guess um that texture a thermal texture and then I also have on a striped green and green shirt because like I said I'm cold um would you be a pirate yeah oh <laughs> I skipped down sorry is uh do you like sleeping on satin sheets I never slept on uh, satin sheets um can you whistle? Mm, yeah, enough. Uh, what's your favorite color? Gray or pink? Would you be a pirate? A pirate? Yeah. Uh, what song do you sing in the shower? I usually bail out um, Cruel Intentions soundtrack. I don't know why Cruel Intentions, but that's the soundtrack that I usually, it pops in my head. As soon as I get in the shower, I'm like, okay, you know, um, my favorite one is, um, let's see, what's it called? You are the do so secretly, sorry, I has singing in my head. And my favorite, <laughs> that's a little bonus thing. One of my favorite quotes is, I've been a friend with unbiased views, then secretly lust after you comes from that song secretly that's like that's like I, I can probably honestly say that's my number one favorite quote he is I've been a friend with them by his views and they secretly lust after you because that is me that's me like I don't I don't know it is it's me um Favorite girl name, Marquesa. Let me explain. Um, I like the name Marquesa because of Georgina Chapman. Yes, Harvey Weinstein's wife. Now, this is before Harvey. This is before all the Harvey stuff has happened. So, please don't hate me I very I very first seen George, Georgina on Project Runway um, she was one of the judges I lived for Project One Runway and I heard the name of her company George uh, Marquesa you know dresses and I thought oh my yeti balls that is gonna be my daughter's name I did try to fight for that name for Hannah. I did. I was like, you should name her Marquesa. Of course, my sister was like, no, no, no. I'm like, please name her Marquesa. Name her Marquesa. She did not. I wanted her name to be Marquesa. I fought for the name and I lost. Um, and I paid for the middle name. So, um, I probably would have got it if I paid for it. But then... Who would Savannah have been? Like, you know, Savannah, she is a Vanna. She's a Van Van. You know, I can't imagine them right now with different names because their personality is their, like, their name matches their personality. Yeah, you know, I couldn't imagine them having any other name. But I did try to fight for Marquesa. I really did. But... 
Um, she spells hers M A R C H E S A. I will spell mine M A R K A Z A. Yes, I know it's technically not Marquesa, but if I had a daughter and I named her Marquesa, that's how her name would be Marquesa. Now, that's just the way I would spell her name. People might not know what her name is, but that's how I would do. And I and only be and the only reason why I would do the Z is be to get my middle name a little bit in there. Um Yeah, so um favorite boy name. My favorite boy name is Marquez. Yes, you are right to name him after me. Marquez, Marquita, M-A-R-Q, U, that's Marquita, and then E-Z from Inez, Marquez, that would be my son's name. I will fight if I can't have a baby, that, like, that name, that, that will be his name, is Marquez, or, or his name would be Josiah. Love the name Josiah. I fought for the name Josiah when Jennifer was pregnant with Isaiah. And she told Brian, Brian was like, well, I've been reading the Bible and I think we should name him Isaiah. And so she, they named him Isaiah. But I fought for, I fought for, for um, Josiah. I really did. I was like, come on. Josiah and then I was like okay Jennifer look let's name you know if if you're having because like the baby after him and I was like okay you got to have a J because you got an M um you know you got Michaela you got Kaylee you got Layla you got Isaiah you need a J because she was going to go with just Nyla because of N you know M N but she's like you know what I don't have a J I do need a J so I was like, Josiah, if it's a boy, name him Josiah. So she's like, uh, well, I got it. I was like, please name him Josiah. Please, please, please name him Josiah. Well, she had a girl, Janala. And, um, but her name was just going to be Nala. But I was like, you got to have a J. You got to have a J. And so that's why she named her Janala because she didn't have a J. <clears throat> and, um. Yeah, in in age orders, Michaela, Kaylee, Layla, Isaiah, and uh, Janala. Um, but so I fought to try to get Janala's name, Josiah. She was a girl, so her name's not Josiah. Um, what's in your pocket right now? Nothing. I don't even have pockets. I have on yoga pants, and I don't have any pockets. Um. Last thing that made you laugh, Savannah, she made me laugh. She was, um, I was sitting here looking at videos and she had a little cape on and, um, Hannah was looking at, you know, Elsa sing, let it go. And, you know, Savannah, she's dancing around, dancing around and she takes off the, the, um, the cape and tosses in and let it go, let it go. And I, I died. I died. I was just like, oh my gosh, she is so cute. And so that's what made me laugh. It was like maybe like two hours ago. But yeah, so I was cracking up laughing. Um, I'll be back. Gotta move it up. Okay, we're back. Best toy as a child. I didn't have one, but it was Teddy Ruxpin. Always wanted a Teddy Ruxpin. When they came back out with it, he was like sixty dollars, and I was like, you know what, Teddy Ruxpin, I have kids now, I can't afford you. I wish you would have came back. You know, I wish he would have came out before the girls were here. Well, maybe I just seen them. Like I don't know when he officially came back out, but like when I seen them in stores. I had him in Savannah. So I was like, I can't afford that. $60, that's that's a lot of stuff. 
I I cannot afford that. Um, worst injury you ever had. I broke my Achilles heel back in '98, and how I did it. Let me let me share the story. Y'all know I'm long with it. Um, how I did it was I was skating. And I was skating in a, I was skating in a dress where it had a split, maybe a little above the knee on each side. Now, picture it. I'm all of twelve. No. No, this was ninety-eight. So I was going into maybe the end of ninety-seven. It was probably 97 because I was going to, I was in 8th grade that year. Um, yeah, I was going into ninth. I was going into 8th grade. And, um, so, 96, or 97, 97, 98. Um, it's summer 97, I should say. Yeah, because Tim wasn't born. He was born December of, of 97. Um, I was skating, and I was already overweight, so I'm fat. I'm skating in a dress that has slits on both sides. Yes, it came like that. And, um, it was this little boy. He didn't know how to skate, and the little boy was maybe like two or three. Like, he was like a little, little kid. He was skating. Well, he falls down in front of me. Well, I'm already not a good, a good um, skater so like we're like this close from me like I'm like okay I can't stop ahead of time so and I didn't want to run over this little boy so I threw myself backwards so I will fall on my butt well my right my right foot did not listen my right foot was like yeah, I don't know what you're doing. You did not you did not tell me the game plan. And I fell and broke my Achilles heel. Now, I did not know it was broke until 10 years later. I found out that, yes, I did break my, my ankle that day. Yes, I did need surgery that day. Yes. My mama didn't take me to the hospital. So I found out in 2008 that yes, I broke my Achilles heel. Yes, it healed back wrong. Yes, I always have problems with it. But I didn't get to go to um, Missouri that year. Um, I was in SOAR. It was a youth program. Um, and I didn't get to go. And I remember because that was... Like, I was this close. It was like, we were leaving the next day. We were just having one good, fun, relaxing day, which we went skating before we got on the bus at, like, 6 o'clock that morning. And But this was, like, maybe, like, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And so, I literally fell, broke my foot, my ankle. The day before we went to Missouri. And I worked hard. I'm talking about I worked hard to get to go to Missouri. And I was like, yes, I get to go. I fell, broke my ankle the day before we were supposed to leave. I was so mad. I was so mad. So I didn't get to go, obviously. Um. So, yeah, that was my worst injury because it didn't get fit. Um, where would you love to live? Somewhere hot year round because the heat helps me, the cold hurts me. That's true. How many TVs do you have? I have two TVs. Um, who's your loudest friend? Jennifer. She is. Um, I love her to death. She is very expressive. She's very expressive. Um, I won't say loud. I guess she's the one that, if I want to have a really good time, I can, like when, when we're both not busy, 
like we can we can like laugh for hours and talk for hours um how many dogs do you have i don't have any dogs um someone you trust i trust everyone until they until they prove that i can't trust them but i automatically trust everyone um what book are you reading at this moment i am rereading um the casual vacancy by jk rollins now if y'all have not read that book it is a great book no it is not for kids it's for grown folks he has language he has situations um in the book it's not for kids 18 plus I, i'm really serious it's, it's not a kid's book um it has some, I try to tell y'all the cliff notes. It, it's about this one dude dying. And I think he was like on like the city council or something. And his seat came available. Well, it was this, this one dude, he wanted it, but he couldn't have kids. So him and his, him and his wife adopted a son. Well, then he had like really bad anxiety where he didn't want like he was afraid that he was gonna like hurt the baby you know like if he held it picked it up well then it was like total 360 by by the time the boy was um 16 like the daddy was just like like you would think oh my gosh he doesn't like him why does he not like him what did the boy do for him not to like him and you know it's just it's really good and then um it's another girl she's um has really like i don't i don't remember if she's getting picked on because i haven't got to that part of the story but like she she's a cutter and um so she secretly cuts herself and her mom is a doctor i think doctor or a dentist and um so yeah, and then it's one girl, it's one girl she moves in, like her and her mama moves in with her mama's boyfriend, but the mama's boyfriend don't really, her, her mama's, bo like, he dated the mama, but then the mama's like uber clingy, and the boyfriend is like, I'm trying to find a way to break up with you. But because the mom was like an emotional basket case, he can't break up with her because he's afraid that she might try to kill herself. And then, um, it's a girl, she kind of grew up on the poor side of the rural tracks. And her mama's like a really bad heroin addict. And she got a little boy named, I mean, she got a, a, a little brother named Robbie. Um, oh crap, what's, uh, it's a dude, it's a director with his, uh, Robert Weening. Oh, I can't remember. It's a, it's a famous, um, actual director in Hollywood with his name, with his same name. Cause every time I hear the dude's name, I'm like, hey, that's dude from Casual Vacancy. But like pretty much, um, the, the girl the, the girl on the wrong side of, of the rural tracks sleeps with this guy where her brother ends up. Um, he says that he's thirsty and he's hungry. Uh, Robbie. Robbie. Oh, crap. Uh, Whedon. Robbie Whedon. I think it's a, it's a comedian. I mean, not a comedian. It's a director named Robbie Whedon or something like that. Um, but her brother ends up slipping like just walking down the down the beach and he ended up walks into the water because he's thirsty so he walks into the water to get water and to get something to drink and he's three two and a half three and he ends up drowned in the death and so she goes home and like her mama's drug dealer rapes her and and she takes the drugs from her mama and like like hides it from her mama you know so that her mama can keep the little boy 
but the girl ended up going in the bathroom after her brother dies and like just ODing and killing herself and everybody's like oh that precious little angel died and oh that girl you know got her brother killed but really the girl wasn't bad it was just like they thought she was like it, it was it's a really good book i think y'all should read it um <clears throat> what's your favorite candy twix and then last but not least um miracle whip or mayo my guess i mean my thing was i like both but i'm not really i'm not really a mayonnaise eater um, so, if I, if I was going to use any, I, it don't matter, because I'm, I'm not really picky, because I don't use it that much. Well, that was a long video. Hopefully, y'all like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry, y'all know I'm long-winded. Alright, bye.